Hello everyone, this is Miss Rosario and today's lesson is name tag. We're going to draw a name tag for that extra special person that loves and cares for you. Objectives. Students will be able to draw letters to use in an art project. Materials, white paper, pencil, color pencils, ruler, black marker, eraser, scissors, construction paper, and glue. Let's begin. Lay out. Draw three lines. Draw two lines, three each apart from each other. Then measure one and a half inches between the two lines and draw a third line in between the first two. And that's our outline for our project. Now that we have our outline, write the name of your favorite person. And take your time when you're doing this. Now let's outline the letters. I'm going to draw a line on the outside of my letter because I want to imagine that my letter is going to be made of a balloon. So I'm going to go around my letter, not touching it or anything, just like wrapping it up. And don't forget the little holes in the A's and D's, okay? There you go. Now I'm going to draw another hole in there. And then my third hole. And don't forget the eye. Trace the letters with a dark marker. Now let's use our marker. I'm using a fine marker to trace it. Now I'm going to trace it very carefully, slowly, taking my time. And there it goes. Keep on going to trace the letter. Now the line in the middle, I'm not going to trace. I'm going to trace the line outside. There you go. So I'm in case in the letter. So let's do that for all the letters. Now I'm going to put some um, shine on the letter because I'm imagining that it's going to be like a balloon and they're shiny. <coughs> so that little square is a shining part. Now with my eraser I'm going to erase all that is pencil. After we're done, it's time for us to color. So I'm going to start coloring very, very carefully, lightly with my pencil. And a little, uh, put a little more color on, on the edges. That way it will give me a sense of volume, like it's a 3D figure. Now let me show you. So when you're coloring, color up and down. So you can see only just the traces that goes up and down lightly. And after I did the first, um, what is it, the first uh, time, then I try it again. But this time I, I press a little bit more the, the color pencil. So it's a little bit darker. Now do that for all the letters, okay? So work with each letter. Now, let's color the background. In the background, I'm showing you that I'm going to use my pencil horizontally, not with the tip. I'm not going to color with the tip because then 
I'm going to the color is gonna uh, the pencil I need to sharpen it more often but if you do it in this side then I can color faster and evenly so that's the best part of coloring like that now um, take your time don't rush we want a nice nice drawing now I forgot but I'm going to do a cloud in because I don't want to color the whole thing and it's a cloud for Claudia <laughs> so also color the whole thing and do shades on it now draw a shadow in each letter so we're going to do that with my black marker and it's going to be only on one side a tiny bit because I wanted to have like a three-dimensional sense so look at it so I'm tracing very carefully with my marker so I'm going to do the L now let me show you so I'm going to trace very very like next to the letter a little bit and then I'm going to just fill that with the black with the marker and you're going to do that the whole with all the letters okay and you see I'm finishing that L and it's gonna be the same process for all the letters all the letters are going to have the same process so I'm going to speed it up okay so you take your time. There you go. Now we're finished with everything. I have it. I have. I did some other examples. Claudia is my sister-in-law, and Margarita. She's a friend of mine, and I want to give her this one because she's a very extra special person for me. I'm working in another one that I haven't finished, but here you go, Lupita, she's my sister. So I'm just showing that I have them in my mind. Now, when we finish, we're going to cut it. So we're going to paste it in another piece of paper, okay? So it looks nice. So cut it carefully. Take your time, always, always. These things, you need to take your time. And it's it could be a process of four three days so you don't need to rush it because we will want to do a good job with this so and i i show you the other two they have this one has a cloud the other one has like a mark like a warm i don't know how to call it but yeah those spikes I like it so be creative when you're doing your name for that special person okay and that's our final product so I put in another piece of paper that has color don't forget to sign your name on it so they know that it's from you and well I hope you're doing well at home stay home and I hope to see you soon. Okay. Take care, guys. Bye.